Siri is reproducing. Or is it? Uh, that is the question. Uh, now that Siri, the voice assistant that we all know and love, on the iPhone 4S is now making its way over to the iPhone 4. How? Well, there is a jailbreak app now available in Cydia called H1 Siri. And uh, I would normally be showing you this application. However, uh, there's a slight problem. It comes with a very long list of uh, precautions ranging from legalities uh, to, you know, proxy server issues where, you know, all of your personal info can, you know, go to some bad dude. And uh, ultimately, it warns you that your iPhone could turn into a paperweight. Uh, so, you know, obviously not an app that I would recommend at all. However, it is pretty cool because it puts Siri on the iPhone 4. Kind of. And we'll get into that. Um, does it work? Basically. But I want to talk about uh, some of the issues with this. Uh, uh, first of all, the app is pretty self-explanatory. Siri on the iPhone 4 instead of only on the iPhone 4S. Uh, now the problems. First of all, we got legalities. Uh, it is very illegal. It goes against everything that Apple says uh, in their, you know, little iOS, you know, legal book. And uh, basically what it did <clears throat> is this app takes system files from the 4S, puts it on the 4, and it's basically, you know, copyright infringement, uh, illegal. Now, the impression that people uh, are on is that it's on the developer. You know, let's blame the developer. Uh, the people who download the app aren't at fault, it's all the developer. And that's usually, you know, the case. Uh, usually, uh, legally, we only go after the developer. However, in this case, it's more of, you know, each and every individual. Uh, because each device is committing the copyright infringement. Uh, so therefore, if you download uh, this H1 Siri and use it, or attempt to use it, you're basically committing copyright infringement and you're setting yourself up uh, for a lawsuit. Now, whether or not Apple will pursue against their customers uh, is one story. Uh, however, it is very uh, illegal for everyone who uses it. Now, another problem is that it runs on a very insecure proxy server. And what this basically means is that all of the info on your iPhone is up for grabs by some bad dude. Uh, and by info, I don't mean the obvious stuff like apps and games and videos. Info, I'm talking about like site catches, saved passwords, keystrokes, things like that. Uh, so all of the uh, personal stuff that you do on your phone that you would rather not be seen by other people, that can very easily be stolen. Uh, so if you do shopping on your iPhone, online banking on your iPhone, some bad dude may get a hold of that. Uh, so that's another uh, very big trouble with this. And uh, lastly, the app is very unstable. Uh, do not expect to use your iPhone uh, very much after you download this. Uh, the reports indicate uh, constant rebooting of the iPhone. That's nice. Uh, messed up menus, uh, where if you load a menu, if it will load, uh, you know, everything will be, you know, you may have something that's sideways, I don't, it's, it's crazy. Uh, and then some common features of the phone just aren't working. Uh, for example, the settings, you can't change any of the settings, they just, nothing happens. Uh, you know, there's so many other problems just waiting to happen that, you know, there's just too many to list. Uh, so long story short, while the app sounds great, it's not practical at all. And, you know, so... If it offers any condolences to you, to if I just totally broke your heart, uh, just know that the app didn't really work that well anyways. You know, even if you took out the bugs, if you took out the uh, how insecure it was, and if you took out the fact that it was illegal, it would still not work well. Only because it's running on a proxy server, a crappy one at that, and so it's overloading uh, at any every chance it gets, uh, and it's practically unusable. Uh, now, there's a couple videos on YouTube from the developer uh, that, you know, kind of demonstrate it working, and, you know, the, it looks good there, but once it's published to Cydia for everyone to get, oop, goes way down, and basically unable to be used. Uh, so hopefully that makes you feel a little better uh, if you're kind of bummed about 
not wanting to get it because of the other reasons I gave you, it wouldn't have worked anyways. So I'm sorry. Um, now you may have heard about another application that was on Cydia about a week ago uh, that also ported Siri to the iPhone 4. Uh, however, that was forced to be removed because of copyright infringement, and it's just a matter of time before H1 Siri uh, faces the same fate. Now, uh, I'm no way endorsing this application. Uh, however, for informative purposes, I will tell you uh, the repo that you can get it at. Uh, the repo is http colon slash slash www.iphone3gsystem.fr slash Cydia. That repo will be in the description. Uh, if you want to go check it out, not like I'm telling you to go check it out, uh, you know, just if you wanted to take a stroll in that repo, little, you know, exploring there. Mm hmm Yeah. Uh, so, the question is now, will Siri be coming to older devices? Legally, that is, in uh, iOS updates. Uh, so tell me what you guys think. Uh, leave a comment, uh, and why you think that. Now, uh, I'm kind of two-sided against it. Uh, Apple has always listened to their customers in the past. Maybe not always, but most of the time they listen to their customers. They seem to do a pretty good job at that. Uh, the latest thing they listened to us about was uh, voice control, uh, which brought Siri. And then uh, the second one was notifications. So, you know, maybe if they see, like, how many people are trying to get Siri on their older devices and how many people are just so bummed that it isn't on older devices... Maybe, maybe they'll include it. Just maybe. Yes, maybe. Uh, but again, maybe they won't. Uh, it is a good marketing strategy. You know, how many iPhone 4S sales did they make? How many people upgraded from the iPhone 4 to the iPhone 4S for Siri? Good. So it is a good plan uh, to, you know, make some more sales. I will give them that. Uh, so that is the question. Will Apple uh, eventually put Siri on older devices? So, uh, check out the original articles down in the description. Uh, without them, this news wouldn't be all around the world. So go check them out and give them some love. And I will see you guys in the next video.